Hello dear viewers and friends, Trophynet here and welcome back to Prey. We're still in the Arboretum, which is basically a fancy term for an, a space garden, if I'm not mistaken. And we're still playing Prey, the game of uh, increasingly larger getting spiders, which is starting to become really, really creepy, because there were just a giant one that bashed against that door over there. And I don't know what to do about that, because I only have a little pistol and a shotgun. And something that shoots foam. Oh, Jesus, that's Morgan, loud. Are you alright? That Typhon, there's nothing in the research. Stay away from it. Well, I can't even open up the door. I mean, I can open it. But leverage 3, and I just did just get leverage 2. So I'm actually pretty close to that. There's another corpse here. Because this is uh, that, that, that type of game. It's a very fun. Mark Sellers. Thank you for that, Mark. For that... Incredibly useful banana peel. Sorry, I need to crawl over your corpse. And January is there again. Up there, you could look into why the lift is stuck. It'd be a lot faster and safer than having to fly through the guts again. True, probably. Lift interference. So that's. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because we're trying to get at the top of the um, the main area, right? Because the lift was broken there. Because that's. But that's why this chapter is also called Detour, I think. Oh god, I think I'm gonna need stealth. This place is huge! Did that just move? I think something moved, but... For now, ow! I fell down again. I apologize, wait. How the hell... Climb? There we go. Okay, okay. We're fine. Take it easy. I saw a third. Where is that third that you're showing me? Okay, there's one. Let's just repair the turret. We have plenty of spare parts. So let's repair this bad boy. Check Evelyn McCarthy's banana peel. And shotgun. Thank you. I'm assuming we should probably move from the top to the bottom. Um, but I'm just going to repair that other turret down there first. There we go. Repair this thing. We have plenty of spare parts. That guy's dead. There's a lot of dead people over here. More shotgun shells, which is nice. I mean, this thing is nice, right? Don't know why I'm walking so slowly up the stairs. The rules of symmetry would say that there's another turret up here. What was that? What the hell is going on? Oh! Hey, hey, over here! Open this door! Hello, sir. Please! Um, can you get it open? No, I don't have the password. Oh, God, There's what the hell? There's something after me! Um, yeah. Okay. What the hell is that? I can't even scan it. That is interesting. Um... Please don't... I mean, I want to scan it, but... Oh, there we go. And it is a telepath. A telepath. It's big. Please don't let it open up the door. The password, I don't have the password. So, there's a big tentacle monster inside of this room. Inside of the greenhouse. So, that that's fun. Just going to use the water fountains for a bit. Ooh, yeah, I think he he's mind-controlling the people inside of there. And another door that I can't open either. So, just keep that in mind. If we get the code for that, we can go in there. Although there might actually be a path around the back. There is a path here. A path towards the telepath. Um... There's another corpse here. She looks fine. She looks like she should have the skin of being eaten alive. But apparently she doesn't have that. And this door is probably also unopenable. Okay. Okay. Look at that. Earth. It's not that far. You can just jump over there. So nothing we can do there just yet. Let's go back down to these wooden shacks. Because these seem interesting as well. I'm just going to quickly use the neuroscope. Nope, nothing there. And a passcode. 
There's definitely a mimic over here. Because I can hear it. Yeah, there we go. That's that's a mimic. And it just dropped down. But I think. Oh, it just it just went awake, but I mean can't do anything to me because it's locked inside that house. I do have the hacking skill. And this thing can actually be hacked. So I'm gonna have to hack it and then immediately shoot it in the face. So remember that from when we get out of this. There we go. Half a second left and then... There we go. I don't think it ever saw me because I got a critical attack for that. Just reload this bad boy again. Is there another mimic around here? According to the neuroscope, no. That means that there's a lot of food for us right now. Russian blinis, let's eat that. That should get us to full. And then some more material stuff. There we go. I do like picking up stuff one at a time. The fertilizer sacks are a bit confusing because I can't pick them up, but I can't carry them around in my inventory. A wrench and a note. Julian, stop by, but you were out. FYI, reviewed your lab notes. Plants pose no health risk. You should be good to go in our boredom. Okay. Fair enough. Didn't give us a code or anything. I do wonder what that mimic actually copied. Because he was a med kit, but usually they need an example to copy... Whatever they want to copy. You mimic? No, you're not. I can't remember a box being here. But that gives us a full loop of the upper area. Except, of course, this little bit. Which shows us the Jamon Tomato Superior. Okay, I feel like somebody put his name on that tomato there. Now we can move down. That's with the music. Why did the music freak out? Scanning target, no alien material detected. Did he see something? Um, so this is where we saw that big typhoon, wasn't it? There's a floating silence pistol here and Jenny King with the disruptor battery fabrication plan. That's good, because we otherwise couldn't make extra ammo if you ran out. Oh! Yeah, that was a quick draw. Hello. Hello. Why didn't those turrets fire on that? Just reloading. Um, hello, turrets. There's another corpse here. And a transcribe. Everything go well? Eventually. Had to wait a while. Two assholes in the sales team chose that exact moment to stand under the alarm bell and smoke cigars. So it's off Talos. My clients are eager. Yeah, just made the last shipment. Should be Earthside by morning, Pacific time. Good. I'll be leaving another package for you after tomorrow's shift. Dropside. The lobby. Assuming it works. Of course it works. Three taps of the wrench, that will pop it open. All of them will work that way by tomorrow. You're adorable when you get proud of your gadgets. Don't patronize me, Lily. Wait. So all of them will work like that. So there's a Talos smuggling ring. Clearly. Find all six drop points around Talos and recover the stolen goods hidden in them. Wait, is there supposed to be one here then? There's an alarm. But... Now, wait. If I equip the wrench... And then hit it... One, two, three... Oh ho ho! Look at that, that was cool. So the alarm panels are actually hidden, hiding stuff. That gives us another neuro mold. That's great. Let's just grab... No, not the wrench. The wrench, the shotgun. There we go. Shotgun. As long as you can make ammo for this, I'm fine with the shotgun. And this goes back to... The main lift. So that's what we need to go to. But I do want to check out this area a bit further. Medical bay. So that's not the first medical bay we've seen. So these all look pretty much the same way. Those are two crates right next to each other. But there's a tunnel behind it. There's a tunnel behind it. We can make anti-rat medication. Although I feel like we could already do that. And with leverage, we can put those crates over there. 
Oh, I can actually make medical operators. Let's not do that just yet. I want to check the maintenance valve over here. And that goes into a shaft. With clearly mimics. Although, I mean, I hear... I hear weird noises. I hear... Oh, yeah. There's a phantom in here. Where is it? There it is. It's one of those electrical bad boys. It's one of those electrical bad boys. Um, I think I need an EMP charge for that. Die! 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 No! No! Oh no, that's bad. That's bad. Where am I going? Where am I going? It's over here. Get in there, buddy. Holy crap. Okay. I think he died. He definitely died. So, note to self. EMP charge does nothing against that thing. Well, you would think it would do something. Okay. But it died. Um, that was just an idea to use that Q-beam thing for that, but kind of worked out. He exploded. Um, probably the easiest way to take out those things. The turrets are... wait. Oh, those aquariums aren't real. Great. So that's more Q-beam cells, burn circus balls, blah, 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 blah. Oh, what's this? Psychoshock shielding. Oh yeah, because we found a chip set in the previous episode as well. Never checked that out. So let's do that right now. So the Psychoshock shielding only works on the Psychoscope and I only have two uh, slots for that. Although it is defensive, of course. I do want to keep the hidden mimic, mimic stuff. So I would swap it out for the speed scan, which is probably better. So let's un-equip that one and equip the Psychoshock shielding. And then on the suits, we actually get the Artax Propulsion Gen 1. Increases the Artax Propulsion System's glide speed. So that's the one we got before. And that allows us to just glide a bit longer, which is interesting. Um, still have plenty of... Ammo, so that's gonna be fine. And then we have the weapon upgrade kit, which I'm gonna use on the Q beam. Uh, just to increase the power by 10%, which is fine by me. There we go. Power increased. I don't know where we even got that weapon kit again from, because I feel like I keep finding weapon kits in my inventory that I'm not really using. There's definitely one more phantom around here, because he's talking. We can open up this door, but there's a leverage tree thing in the way, but this thing is leverage too. So I can move that over and then move. I think I can. Come on. I know you can. Oh, are you serious? I thought that would allow me to move up there, but apparently not. So leverage tree again it is. That sucks, because there's a weapon kit and a fabricator plan in there with some shotgun bullets. Let's go back to the shotgun. Seems like we're underneath the pond. Which is a bit weird, but... And there's another hallway over here. Which has... Fire. No mimics. So let's go for the glue cannon. And plug those leaks. And sizzle that off. And that gets us to the other side of the turrets. Um, ideally, I should actually just break that glass, right? Um, I could use the wrench for that. There we go. Through the glass. I could have also used the turrets against the phantom. But that might not have not worked completely. So even on top of the pipes, there's nothing here. So I'm just going to drop down again. There we go. So that means that we can either go further through the garden. But of course, risking that we might get shot. 
at? Did I miss that item or was that already there? Psy Hypo. Okay. Completely missed it apparently. Wait, so that's a side quest. So that moves back to the main elevator then? Oh no, this is the door. This is the door where the giant... Oh god. What have I done? Okay. Seems to be a phantom right next to the habitation pods. Is it a normal one? Good afternoon, yeah, Howard. it is a normal Lunch one. Lunch is served in the cafeteria from 12 to 2 p.m. Please refer to the weekly upgrade for today's menu. Oh god, that was stupid. That was stupid. I kind of blew my cover away. And there's definitely more where that came from. Oh no, they're operators. Okay, so that means it's Raptor Gun. I can handle those. Although they can't seem to access me for now. Which I will gladly take. Only took one hit from the, the Phantom, so that's fine. But I need to... Ooh, there's one more. There's one more. Let's... Pump him down. And then grab the shotgun. There we go. Double shot. Double shot. And he's down. More items where that came from, which is great. And then I should probably try and open up the offices upstairs. Because those two things are angry, but they can't really reach me. Do I have... It's a level 2 hack, so I can't really do anything about that. Yeah, they saw me, but I mean... If they can open the door for me, that would be nice, but I don't think they can. I don't have a key card for the storage room. Yeah, start freaking out as much as you want. Oh, I forgot the glue cannon over here. I mean, I can, I can wave. But you won't be able to do anything. Hi. Hi. You're nice. Nice operators. Back to the trusty pistol. Going downstairs and we have Lizzie Colton. And some more bullets and the shotgun shell fabrication plan. So we had that already. But uh, the more the merrier. And then this thing is locked off. Which, yeah, makes sense. No, no matching keycard for me. So no entry to that. So let's move back up. And we'll get through the normal way then. Because this is the only other area. Although we could go further here. So over here there's multiple pods going up. This gets freaking out because of the operators that saw me, but otherwise, we're fine. Pistol in hand. Let's check out if there are any mimics. It's not telling me. So I'm supposing everything's fine. Why is this dedicated? Do I need to read that? Given by William Yu. Okay. So our father gave us a bench. That's nice. And she's become rather chipper. Let's read the note. Check phosphate levels of plants in quad 2. Reduce sprinkler cycle by 5 minutes. See if Dr. Howard's experimental plants need water. And Dr. Howard changed the greenhouse password to Xenopold. Okay. So that means that we can get into the greenhouse if we want to. The problem is... That there's a giant monster inside of it. Found another upgrade. I think I'm just gonna pump it into the shotgun. Pun intended, because it's a pump shotgun. So there we go, up to 73 damage. Shotgun upgraded firepower increased. Then I think we should probably go for another suit repair kit. Uh 30 damage. That's fine. We needed uh, 24, which is fine, 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 fine. And then we need to get into that greenhouse. The problem is, I'm assuming those people are mind controlled. So that also means that they might kill us if we try to save them. Um, I'm gonna go over there and we'll see what we can do. I'm hoping I can, res well, finish that without killing anybody. Uh, and we haven't been here up here yet either, but let's focus on the greenhouse first. Because I don't want to bump into that uh, giant typhoon just yet. So, right in front of the door, 
I have the password, so Xenopold1. I'm gonna quick save first. So I can enter the password, which will allow us access to the console, I think, just. But that's not opening the door, right? I can activate the sprinklers. Is that gonna do anything? I could do, though. It's better than just a knocking. I saved before this, so if this does anything wrong... Here we go. It's going up because of it. Wait, did it just leave? Did it just leave? What is... Oh, yes. It's definitely flying around now. How am I gonna do this? It's a flying monstrosity. Um... Can I use the Q-beam on it? How far does this thing reach? Where is it going? So I've removed the telepath from the, gre the greenhouse, I think. It moved up for a second, but apparently that wasn't enough. Are the sprinklers off again? Um, I think somebody forgot a texture. There's a replace me thing over here. So if I activate the sprinklers, actually chase it outside. But the only thing that I, I can use to hit it is probably... So it moves up here and then I need to draw its, draw its attention probably. I probably should use the giant laser beam. Oh, that takes a while. That takes a while. I'm gonna have to use the pistol, probably. Or you know what? Let's reload that thing. I did waste most of its ammo now. And then focus the beam. Focus the beam. Focus the beam. And there it goes. Ow! Thanks for whatever that was. Okay, but we killed it. We wasted like an entire battery of Q-beam cells for that, but uh, we killed it. Oh god, where the hell am I? Oh, wait, that's the corpse. 15 Typhon organs, that's nice. That's nice. That's really, really nice. And I only took 15 damage. And my Psy was nullified for some reason, but I'm not using Psy, you dumbass. But that hopefully lifted the mind control of those people, since I just got an indication that we... It's just that. Save Rhiny. So he's unconscious. Um, but these are going to be nice people, right? I saved their lives. Hello? Oh. So that door is also open. Sir! Sir! I put them down. But they're unconscious. Can I talk to these people? Because I'm just stealing their belongings at the moment. I'm just stealing their uh, Oh, hello. Doctor, you... What happened? Where? Oh, God. Please tell me you killed that... thing. I did. I came up here to deploy the EATs. The Eradicator turrets. Then it was like all the color bled from the world. Everything had an... edge to it. I, I couldn't control myself. I... But... The EATs are still in the small arms closet nearby. We could still use them. That Here's sounds the great. Oh, thank I'm you. I'm going to make my way to the cargo bay. Security was supposed to fall back there. <laughs> Sarah will have my ass if I don't. Okay. Storage AR-01. Wait. Oh, that's the closet where those two operators are. I can actually eat those tomatoes. Ooh, and they refill health. That's... If I have space for that, that's nice. I could use another recycler, though. Um, is there a recycler in this thing? By accident? No. No, so that's the other corpse we found before. Because there's gonna be... Optimizer. Optimizer. What does the optimizer do? It reduces the initial side cost of morph powers. Okay, I'm not using that. A water pressure regulator. Is that just to... Um, break down into materials as well. There's a lot of food in here, which is probably one of the reasons you can get in. One of the rewards, basically. So he's unconscious. Let me uh, just take everything you have there, buddy. Um, oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not switching. How do I switch to... Hmm. 
Oh no. Um, sir, can you wake up? So I uh, dismantled a shotgun in my inventory, so that made a bit of space. And now I think I should be able to just grab every single tomato in here. Give me a second. I feel like this was a bit overpowered. I have 23 bananas, 19, 19 tomatoes, 18 lemons, and 6 pomegranates. That's 10 health each with health regeneration. Which I think makes this too overpowered. I can do whatever the fuck I want with all of that. That's a bit weird, because all that's unlimited healing, basically. So now, I need to go down to get those eradicated turrets. And I'm assuming I can carry those. The turret kind of freaked me out there. Carry those and put them down here. Just gonna grab... So I think it's that storage container over there. Um... No. Huh. Wasn't that the code we just got? Or is it that? That might be... I can actually scan that. For the last time. Scan. There we go. Alien research complete. Machine mined. Don't really need that. And then this... Is not the code I was given. Interesting. So that means that the storage... Aha! There we go, it's marked on our HUD actually, so it's over there, AR01, and that was storage room 2. Hopefully we don't bump into that Typhon before we get those turrets, because I want to set those up to help me with that big boy. So before we were underneath this area, so that was why we had that weird view. So 9301. Very high level of security. Stop doing that, I'm just gonna... Aha! Did it! Okay. I was wondering why it was marking that. So we saved Rani. And that gets us a whole bunch of new stuff. Can I close this door? Oh, I can lock the door from the inside. That's gonna be great. And now there's gonna be a bunch of stuff here. Ooh, weapon upgrade kit. More Q-beam cells. A cardboard box. Okay, so there's a few weapons here that I really, really want. But... I can't really pick those up. Maybe I'm gonna make space for the weapon upgrade kit to do that right now. Although, I don't really see how I'm gonna... Because the weapons are cool. I'm gonna actually drop the weapons here. So I know that all the weapons are in here. So that gives me a bit more space. So there we go. All the weapons are over here. Shotgun. Uh, wrench. Somewhere. The wrench is somewhere. I promise. So there's a silent pistol over here. And then the wrench was dropped over here. Um, I can carry the turret, so that's an eradicator auto turret. Are those the same that I had? So I can put one over here. And then it gets a good view of whatever is coming over there, so let's deploy him. And he's pointing in the right direction, there we go. On top of it, there we go. Let's put it over here, so it has a nice vantage point over the rest of the area. There we go. Does Ronnie have anything to say about that? The fact that I just put down those turrets. Hello, Ronnie. There's two buckets there. Why are there two buckets there? Okay. I think I saved you, Ronnie. I'm going to head down to Cargo Bay. Don't want to make Sarah mad. Even if she didn't make it, she'll still find a way to take it out on me. Okay, I'm glad you're going to do that, but you're still here for some reason. Uh, let's go down again. So let's go further up that path, because I feel like there should be a recycler somewhere in this area. Okay, so back where we were. Is this the main elevator? No. The bridge. And do not enter. So there's definitely one more phantom around here. It depends on what type of phantom it's going to be. Because if it's one of those electric assholes, it is. Oh god. Oh, there's another one behind him. What the hell is that? Is that a fire one? Um, oh god, this is gonna hurt. 
I don't really have... Well, I have that nullified thing, the null wave transmitter. Let's test that out. Quick saving, obviously. Oh god. And that whacked it against the wall. Fuck it, there we go. So that definitely reduced its powers. Good afternoon, Talos. Join us and congratulate there we go. Dr. Lorenzo Calvino. And then there's one more behind the co corner. Let's try that again. It's gonna work on that one as well. I'm gonna have the shotgun ready. Die! Die! There we go. He does something when I'm close by. Although it might be the effect of the no wave transmitter, but I didn't even take a single hit. So that was very loud, but they both died and everything's quiet all of a sudden. Could have also used the turrets, but this is way more fun, isn't it? Aha! So there's Alex's office. So he was protected by two Typhons, which is weird. Then we have deep storage down there, so that's basically the main quests. But we also needed to check on the main elevator to fix that. So since we still don't have... Although in deep storage it might actually be uh, a recycler, right? That would make sense. What's this? It's a big book over here. Nothing interesting. Looking glass and relaxation area. Let's check out the looking glass first. Scene selector. And Thomas Tucker is over here with another suit repair kit. You know what? Let's swap over back to the pistol. And I can grab his pistol as well. There we go. Then, scene selector under construction. So I can't really do anything with the looking glass. That's sad. It's really cool technology. And actually not that far off. Just tracking the user's... Position and eye movement. Ooh, and there's another corpse here. What is that supposed to be? There's a bit of a nub uh, just, uh, sticking out of this tree and it's looking a bit weird. That rock moved. Everybody saw the rock moved. But we also have... We also had relaxation, right? Where was that? Ooh. I should probably check. Because this might be a mimic. Uh, baseball? So they were playing baseball in here. With some beers. And the pals. Looking at the moon. Wait, what's that on the moon? There's something on the moon. There's lights on the moon over there. Don't know what that's for. Probably a, some sort of station. Oh, that's, that might be the DLC actually. Because the DLC is called Moon Crash. Where's... wait. There was relaxation, right? Or is that just the, indicating that um, that baseball thing? Probably. I'm just gonna check. Yeah, there's just a bench here. Nothing spectacular. And then back to that baseball thing. Fine. Fine. Doesn't all need to be a high-value treasure. And then we can get back to deep storage. Let's check that out first. I mean, we killed two badass phantoms for that. A fire and an electric one. So, to deep storage we go!